Hello viewers, I hope my words will work for those who are at the beginner level and for those who are unable to fix their own psychology, but I request everyone who has opened this video to watch the video till the end, I hope it will be helpful to you. Let me share a small story with you. Maximum beginner traders in our country start Forex with a $50 to $60 deposit amount. I am talking about real trading. First real trading is done with very little in our country. Moreover, many people start trading with an amount of $100 or more. Keep in mind what amount we deposit to start our journey. Now it's time to trade. The trade starts very nicely. Good profit 4, 5, 10 entries in a $100 account. 0.01 to 0.05 lot and earn 5, 10, 15 or $20 daily, so the balance becomes double in 15 days. That is, we start very cautiously. That is, we take many entries in our account at once, or we take entries by increasing the lot size. Most of us do these things. So you aim to double your balance in 15 days, or one month, by depositing $100. You do a little analysis and take an entry, sometimes 0.01 lot, sometimes 0.05 or 0.08 this way trading is going on. So it is seen that double or more profit in 15 days so you think you have learned Forex or you are a master of Forex. There is no interest in discussing or learning about Forex. You are trading on your own way every day entering the market in your own way and trading using the lots that you want. It is going very well because your entry is now coming in profit and you warn a lot. So a hundred dollars account doubles in 10 or 15 days. So you are happy. But at last it is seen that the balance is 250 equity 50. Now your hand on the forehead. Maybe you try hedging to recover some of your money, but the market shows you have not enough money, no matter how your lot is, but the entry is no longer accepted. At last everything is finished and your balance is zero. Then you blame all Forex mentors, thinking that maybe they didn't teach well, didn't provide any tricks intentionally. Now you think, it's all your mentor's fault. Maybe you learned from YouTube or took a course from someone. You destroy your own balance by yourself, but you are blaming someone else. Is this right? But think about it. Did your mentor ever tell you to do over trade? Have they ever said to break money management? Did they say to be greedy or plan to double the account in 15 days? No, maybe the answer is no. So why are you blaming them? The money you collected for trading finished roughly. That's how your journey ends. The country's money is going to another country. The loss of oneself is the loss of the country. But now take a closer look. Currently, if you make a fixed deposit of $1,000, so after deducting the government VAT, your interest may come up to $50, but you want to deposit $100 and earn $200 in 15 days, so you don't lose then who will? But what is the way to get rid of this situation in the future? First of all, keep a cool mind. You can avoid this problem only if you are honest. That is, there will be no greed. Remember, greed is a sin. Sin can destroy anyone. Forex follows certain rules like technical, fundamental news. So study hard. I agree, you don't have the ability to do paid courses with money. So you should be polite then success will come. Forex trading highly depends on psychology. If you can control yourself from greediness and over trading, you will do better. Learn to control it first, then try to learn the rest. Your country's bank gives you interest of $10 or $12 for $1,000. You are dreaming of buying a car and a house with an investment of $100. How funny, but think about how it is possible in a few months. If you think this, your psychological problem will be solved. 
because we set up a mind that I will earn thousands of dollars within a few days in Forex. That's why our greediness has increased. Now finally do a calculation. 50 or $100 is your deposit amount. If you get $1 a day, then 1 times 5 is equal to $5 a week. As such, 5 times 4 is equal to $20 profit in the month. For a $100 account, is this $20 less? Why do we lose such an opportunity? So why are we blowing our money like the wind? What would be better if you can earn $20 monthly by depositing such a small amount of money? We have a question for you. Can you show us any sector where only a $100 deposit can earn $20 monthly? Is there any such way which is legal? Hopefully the answer is no, so why are you destroying your wealth like this? You also harmed others. That means maybe this money is taken from your family. Isn't it better to save that money instead of losing all your money and earn $20 monthly? It is very important to think about these things, especially for traders like us. We are fairly good when we practice, but when we invest our own money, we suddenly change. We don't care about anything anymore. You must have understood the consequences, so there will be suggestions for you. We always advise to stay away from greed. If you follow any religion, maybe your religion also says that greed is not good. So I will end the video with a request to you, and that is, please never break any rules. The most important thing to keep in mind is greed. Never be greedy. Never be emotional. Lastly, I will request you if you don't subscribe to our channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to never miss any update. We will make a request to you wherever you create an account broker house or payment gateway, you must use the Forex BDS link. This will keep your account safe at all times, you will be able to participate in any type of contest, you will have the opportunity to trade in zero pips spread. So be sure to account under the link given below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button because your likes and comments give us confidence to do something better. And if you have any suggestions you can leave a comment so that ForexBD can meet your needs all the time.